Hey, what is up everyone? How are you all doing out there? This is Reagan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. I've been busy these past few days, haven't posted any videos. So today I will be unboxing and review this newly released figure of Hot Toys. For sure, a lot of collectors are excited with this one too. This is none other than Marvel Comics Iron Man The Origins Collection CMS 08 Diecast 38 a 1 6 scale collectible figure. And this is the deluxe version. And before we start, if you're new here to our channel, please consider to subscribe and press the notification bell if you want to get notified once I upload a new video, especially if it's from Hot Toys. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, I'm really excited with this one because of this comic version look of Iron Man. For sure, a lot of comic collectors are excited with this one too, especially if you're collecting 1-6 scale or, you know, hot toys or, you know, Iron Man. This one is a must-have, I'm gonna tell you guys. So, yeah, right here is the art box and then the picture of the figure or Iron Man, which is really cool. And then some comic print of the Invincible Iron Man, which is really nice too. Some kind of like a reflectorized uh, print right there. And then I saw some uh, some damage already, probably some greasy problems. Some residue of the glue right here. So <laughs> anyway, the logo of Iron Man right there. Really nice Marvel Comics, uh, kind of like metallic print. And then the combination of yellow and red, which is really nice. Uh, I saw the regular version. It has a yellow too, but just a touch, but not the whole uh, bottom part of this art box. And on the side, right here, more comic print of the Invincible Iron Man. Really nice, guys. I love it. And right here at the back, the warnings and their website, shops here in Hong Kong, um, like their contact numbers. And on the top, Marvel Comics. Let me show you guys very clear. There you go. And at the bottom, BAM! That Marvel Comics metallic print right there, guys. Very clean and I love it. So, anyway, I'm excited with this one. So, let's unbox it. Let's open it. Ooh, oh my gosh. Nice. Ah, oh man. The smell of this one. For sure. It doesn't have smell. <laughs> nah, not much. Not much of a smell of new Iron Man figures. Anyway, let's take it out those plastic first ah oh, man this is really exciting guys that's a lot of parts of iron man right but before that let me show you guys first the manual or the instruction sheet okay, so right here the instruction sheet the origins collection okay the consent right here oops oh there's some extra paper right here Lot of stuff, guys. Wow, this is going to be a long review. <laughs> now, I will try to make it short, guys. And that's it. Bang. Right, so I'm gonna start from the bottom. So, this one is part of the legs, kind of like the boots. So, two pieces left and right, right there. And then right here is a pair of fixed open hands. Next up right here is a pair of uh, with the movable fingers. Right there. And then right here a pair of armor on his uh, hips. And then right here is a pair of the one on his gauntlet or um, forearm. Okay. This one right here, I'm not sure, probably at the back. Okay, this one right here is the probably the chest part, the chest plate armor. Okay, next a clear, uh, probably the one on the head, yeah, the top of his head right there, clear part. And we got three pieces of this one, this one, the different uh, shape, it's like a mag helmet of Magneto, right? <laughs> And then this one right here is the classic version to his front face armor right there. 
And of course, the figure. Wow. This is really wow, guys. This is really, really cool, guys. I love it. Okay, let me remove those plastic first. All right, guys. Already removed the plastics. And damn, this one is really, really nice, guys. Oh my gosh. So much details. It looks amazing. Wow, I'm really excited to play with this one, guys. Wow. My goodness. Just a quick look, guys. So now let's take a look at the... Uh, because this is the deluxe version. So let's take a look at the base. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this uh, hologram screen right here. So we're gonna get six pieces. So three small screen right here. This is really cool, guys. There you go. And right there. Wow. Okay, and this one right here. Kind of like the design of the arc reactor. All right. There you go. And then this one. That looks Iron Man right there, the Iron Man armor, and then this one too, the same. Same with this one. Okay. So three big screens and then three small hologram screens. And then right here is kind of like a like hologram too, hologram platform, kind of like that. So there you go. It has two sides. This one is more clear. I'm not sure if this is like uh, plastic. That you could remove and then while the bottom part or underneath is kind of like a matte finish design okay right there okay and then now let's get the base base right here kind of like a circle one kind of like a similar to the uh, um, movie um, masterpiece Iron Man right kind of like this but this one kind of like different design just a little bit different but uh, uh it's mostly uh, like similar to that okay then this one has that movable well, the same with that uh, you know the standard design uh, base of iron man movie masterpiece like this and this one kind of like a bluish uh, metallic design kind of like similar to this one I'm not sure close close to that okay but not really you know uh, the same color that yeah this one's like metallic color and then this one some silver part right there okay and then some simple nameplate of Iron Man classic design okay it's the pole Check it out. It's a clear pole right there and it's this one kind of like a, hmm, like a support that we could attach it to the pole right there and then another um, like holder probably some holder too like you could uh, attach again shoot to that pole this small packaging right here it has three okay three pieces ah probably this one is uh, also movable uh, so there's some extra articulation guys that one's quite loose wow mm. Ooh, there's a magnet. I see. So this one is magnetically designed. You can see right there underneath. So probably we could, uh, we're gonna stick to the base. And right there, wow. All the way down there. So articulated this one, this one right here. And then also this one. Ah, just the front part. Oh, this one is detachable. Ooh. Okay, detachable part right here and then this one right here oh this one yeah this one is really similar to the gun tree right the suit gun tree there you go wow nice this one's clear bluish color right there this one looks like movable oh yeah it is movable there you go and uh huh this one not nah, not movable this one looks like not nah, it's fixed okay so some kind of like platform i think so okay let's check that later on here this one is bigger right there mm -hmm. okay 
wow it looks like it took out from the you know the mark for gun tree right <laughs> yeah anyway on oh there's another one here so we got three pieces of this one okay wow that's a lot of platform okay. this one's also magnetically designed so yeah we're gonna attach this one later okay this one is the holder there you go there's some small parts right here small piece clear one this one right here so probably some connector or stand this one is really cool guys this one looks like a the suitcase from the mark 5 right it looks like yeah, but it's more thicker one but uh, wait let me oh this one you could open it and ah this one is the one from the regular version that you could also uh, you could also put those hologram screen there okay so later we're gonna uh, assemble this one okay so let, i think that's it that's it for that uh, bottom part packaging all right so that's a lot of stuff guys so i think that's pretty much everything included in the box so now let's assemble first the base or the diorama base and then that one that suitcase and then check the articulations and attach those accessories let's go okay let's assemble this one first um hmm. let's remove this one this one then we're gonna attach this one here there's some magnet or there's some metal here. Wow, that's really really cool. And then this one, kind of like that. And this one should be around here. That this one's detachable. You could attach it here. Ooh, kind of like that. For now, let's just do this one. This one, we're gonna shoot it here. There you go. There you go. I think that's how it looks like. Kind of like that, I think. Right here. This one is detachable, guys. This, and then we're gonna shoot it here. There you go. And then the small piece right here. Kind of like that. So that's how it looks like. Or we could rotate a little bit to the left right so I think that's it guys that's how it looks like for that diorama base let's assemble this one we could put this right. so kind of like overlap so here So this one kind of like this extra helmet there and uh, yeah the front face armor yes kind of like this guys wow that looks really cool and then we're gonna put it here to the side there you go nice okay so I think that's it for the base and uh, extra suitcase uh, this one is battery operated guys I forgot uh, to show you I put already the batteries underneath there you go so kind of like a UV light underneath the base that looks really cool right nice let me turn it off okay and then that screen keeps falling okay I think that's it so let's check the articulations of the figure okay so let's check the articulations very quick so starting from the head of course you could do 360 there very smooth articulations to the side I think that's it other side there you go it's a max looking down there you go look up yeah I think that I think that's it so 
quite limited I would say because of those extra uh, clear armor on the side especially that uh, neck part too so yeah I think it's fine so not much of uh, you know you're not gonna do some uh, dynamic poses I mean like uh, like crazy dynamic poses on the head so I think it should be fine okay right as long as uh, it can hold those position that I think should be fine okay there you go and then shoulders all the way up to below 90 degrees guys okay, so I think that's the max let me check oh can wait a uh, just uh, just a little bit then you can lift more there you go well, still below 90 degrees but at least a little bit higher kind of like 85 87 right almost 90 degrees right looks really nice okay and then let's put it down and then you could also move the shoulders up and down like this like up and down there you go okay and then also you could pull that out so let's do this, this one right here you can pull that back part right there so you have more range of motion to the front there you go okay nice that's really cool and you can push it back all the way inside so this one too and of course you could rotate that all the way up there nice even 360 actually yeah and then there's no other armor here other stuff that it could dock the range of motion right so that's really really cool and then you could swivel also this part right here of course both side yes there you go uh, next is the elbows right there so I would say quite limited uh, like 90 degrees or maybe below or above 90 degrees actually yeah see nice because of this armor right here this clear plastic okay so that's why and then the wrist I think it's fine it's tight it's still fine I mean in, of course still new so for the upper body right here uh-huh you could twist that wow <laughs> all the way to the side oh my goodness wow I didn't know that <laughs> I accidentally like to sit all the way to the side it's quite I mean it's quite smooth you know I would say so that's why you could really rotate that uh, you know that upper torso that is really nice and then the crunch in look at this one guys Wow right that's really nice crunch in guys see the arch just a little bit right but it looks like this one looks like a T right <laughs> anyway yeah that's really cool guys I mean, amazing so crunch in and then twist that's it bam nice for dynamic poses and then there's no waist articulation I mean like I cannot really twist this part right here so this one is the main uh, twist articulation for those uh, you know dynamic poses or range of motion yeah this part right here okay and then yeah I think that's it for this upper body you could do some side a little bit yeah just a little bit Okay, just be careful on those parts I right? try to take care of it so at least it's gonna you know last longer anyway uh, some movable parts like this one right here probably this one some extra range of motion once you lift the legs to the side there you go oh, it looks like that's the max let's see and then to the front mm. this one is also movable so this one those are uh, groin armor let's call it groin armor okay up to there that's the max guys you could also move that uh, joint right there inside you can pull it down there you go so there's some extra space there so we could meaning we could do more range of motion for the leg oh this one's quite tight wow this one's really tight guys <laughs> I'm quite uh, scared of moving that legs uh, but anyway so this one right here this is how it looks like all the way up there nice see so we could do some uh, Ironman landing pose that is amazing okay of course you could swivel that 
for sure. Yeah, you can swivel that a little bit. But this one, how come this one I cannot pull it? Oh my gosh, there you go. You can hear that. Ah, it's kind of like scary, right? There you go. Nice, amazing, amazing. Let's move on to the knees part. Right there. Nice. All the way up there. I think that's the max, guys. Yeah, because of the design. And this one was really cool, guys. Look at this one. <laughs> Once you move that knees, boom. You can see that the uh, quads, those uh, like muscular armor, uh, slowly moving down and then showing up some, you know, some. It looks better if they added some, you know, some machine there or kind of like a mechanical, uh, like details there, right? But yeah, I think it's fine. But it looks really nice. See, there's a lot of details, guys. See, wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Ah, you're gonna enjoy moving that those legs, guys. And I really like the details, guys. Wow, it's amazing amazing design and then also this one the ankle part let's move on to the ankle part flex oh there's a movable uh, uh, toes right there but I believe you could still do some right there you go oh yeah so it's kind of like blocking the range of motion so yeah you could flex up to there and then point that's it not much I would say and then tilt not much too so not much for you know for standing uh, dynamic poses I would I would say so more on like flying probably there's no twist yeah even twist you cannot rotate this one guys see I cannot I don't know why amazing articulations and then some movable parts again aside from this one right here this two on the groin uh, armor groin part this one right here and in the back part this one is it has some air flaps guys let's start with this top part right here the middle part oops e. can you move that wait. wait let me check guys this one you can open this one this one too but this one how come let me check oh okay so this is detachable Oh, I see because of this one right there. Just could lift those air flaps all the way up. There you go. See how it looks like to the side right there. And this is where we're going to put the batteries. Not like that. Wait. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That is amazing. Wow, amazing guys. <laughs> I love this armor. I love this Iron Man. Anyway, let's uh, change those uh, uh, What's this those clear armor to the solid red color armor? Okay, also the Helmet, okay, okay this one first guys. So let's try to attach this one right here Okay, there you go. Let's change this forearm. There you go. That looks good. There you go. Try to change this uh, circle. Looks like a shield, small shield of Captain America. Right, so not that really scary to detach those clear plastic. Because I thought I might gonna break the those uh, what's this like joint? There you go. So it's very easy to detach those uh, circle thing. Bang! There you go. There you go. Nice. That is really cool. And then this one right here, the armor. It's quite hard to. Nice. And other side. And then we're gonna exchange it to this one. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> that is really, really cool, guys. And then last one is the helmet right here. So this version, okay. 
Oops. Right there, that's very easy guys to you know attach and change the helmet part. Wow. So you can see this part right here on the side, it's not really flat to the face compared to the other side. You can see right there. So yeah, probably some again some QC problem. Okay. So anyway, so that's the look of ooh, ah, not really good. It's sticking out by itself. So I think that's the design. Not really flat to the face. Uh, better not to touch it the, the back part the back of the head so it won't uh, come out you know that side part but anyway so this is the other look of Iron Man and then the more classic version is there you go so more classic look of Iron Man there you go wow <laughs> that is amazing Okay, so let me try the batteries or those LED light up effects on the armor. Okay guys, so I already put the batteries. I think everything works perfectly fine. And uh, what I really like is they changed the on and off switch of the batteries. I mean of the lights right there. So this is uh, the head part and then you can see the switch right there. The push button right there. That is really cool go and even this part right here the arc reactor the chest part the same design see the press wait, let me, but this one right here you have to really press it uh, all the way down okay you can see right there that's the LED light up effect uh, this one kind of like different uh. oh there's something here oh there's damage wait let me check this one guys damage but the extra oh some extra parts unfinished paint guys look at that oh my goodness <laughs> let me remove this one I think it's very easy to remove this one ah. so that's very easy to remove guys but I might gonna exchange this that one is kind of like unfinished uh, part okay Anyway, so there you go. That's how it looks like. That's really, really strong, guys. Very nice arc reactor right there. And uh, the hand part, hand repulsor right there. So this one is the same switch, guys. See right there? The old version sign. There you go, okay. Uh, I'm okay with that other side right there dang nice so it's just only three parts so the hands the chest the body and the head part okay so those are the that only has that LED light up effect okay okay so there's only three parts for the LED light up function so the hands the chest reactor and of course the head right there the LED on the eyes and then uh, earlier I kind of like noticed this part right see this one right here earlier it was like so bright and then now it kind of like slowly dim I'm not sure why like almost gone <laughs> like, you know, I'm not sure if the battery runs out so <laughs> uh. So I have to ask the staff uh, what is wrong with this. Probably there's some problem on the lights. I'm not really sure. So yeah, I think that's it for the LED light up function. And uh, I forgot to mention this one earlier. The air flaps right here. There you go. That is really cool. Okay. And then yeah, that's it. I think that's it. Let me try to attach this one here. Mm. There you go. Nice. Right, so I think that's it. Amazing. This Iron Man classic or comic version is absolutely incredible. I'm not gonna lie, this one is not bad at all. Since the first time I saw the prototype display, 
I already knew that it was going to look great. However, there are some collectors who don't like the look of this version. Those are the collectors who probably don't want to spend money on a figure that, that is not really their priority. I completely understand. I mean, this figure will only be truly appreciated by hardcore fan of Iron Man. But definitely, this is a must-have figure for your Iron Man collection. Although not everyone would prefer this figure, I'm certain that its value will increase after a few more years. I presume Hot Toys will not reissue this figure. However, if Hot Toys pursues the repeat production of this comic version or the Origins collection, expect the release of the other characters too. And that's gonna be amazing. I really love the details and the design of this new Iron Man, something really different from the movie masterpiece, especially with those clear armor that looks fantastic and additional diorama base that you could really display even just the figure alone. I wish they make it more comic accurate, I mean like in terms of colors rather than just the usual diecast Iron Man figure, but nevertheless still amazing. I think that's about it. That's all I could say. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this new Iron Man figure. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider to subscribe. That way you could also help my channel to grow. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and I will try to answer it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.